Hello everyone, my name is Arohi. So guys, in my today's video, I will show you how to work with detection transformer. So detection transformer is also known as DETR or you can call it data model. Okay. So it is basically a object detection model that uses a transformer architecture. So this uh, DETR model was introduced in our research paper titled End-to-End -End Object Detection with Transformers and this paper was published by researchers from Facebook AI Research in 2020. Okay, so today we will see how to perform object detection on your custom data set using this data model. Okay, so let's start. So guys, for that, I want to show you, okay, this is the folder where I'm working. So this, and this is my data set. So for today's class, I am using a data set, this bone fracture data set. Okay. So when you open this folder, you will have three folders, train, test and validation. Let's open the train folder. Here, you can see the training images. We have 327 training images. Okay. And when you scroll down, you will see one annotation file, which is in a JSON format. Okay. So guys, for our today's class, we have annotated our data set in a COCO format. So COCO format accepts the data in a annotations in a JSON format. Okay. So let me open this JSON file and show you. So you can see this is the annotation.json file. So here you can see this is how this file looks like. So these are the different categories we have in our data set. So you can see. So first is bone fracture. So for our today's class, we have four classes. The bone fracture data set, which I've shown you. And that data set have four classes. First one is bone fracture. Second is angle. Uh, sorry, this is our, this is not a class here. You can see this angle, fracture, line and messed up angle. So these are the four different classes and you can see in this image, these are the four different classes our data, our algorithm will detect. Okay. So first you have your class names like this. After that, under this images, you will have um, detail about the images, like the name of the images, height, width, you know, ID. So all these things, you'll have all the images over here under images. Okay. So after that, we will see annotations. So under annotation, you'll see the bounding box coordinates. See, these are the bounding box coordinates for uh, all the images. So this is for first image. Okay. And then we have a bounding box coordinate for second image in the same way. This is for third image. So this is how this JSON file look like. And if you want to create your own data set, you can use uh, any labeling tool which supports, you know, which um, using which you can create your data set, your annotations in a JSON format. Okay. In the way the Coco data set have. Okay. So this is the uh, annotation file. Now, in, now let's open the test folder inside test folder we have test images and the related annotation file and in validation folder we have images validation images and then the annotation file and uh, you can see okay and you can see that every folder train well and test every folder have a annotation file and the name is same okay so i I'm using the same name for all the annotation files for all the different folders. Okay. So this is our data set. After that, let's go to the code. So this Jupyter notebook I'm showing you for our today's class. So now let's start and I'm starting by telling you what all modules to install to run this detection um, transformer. So the Python version I'm using is 3.9. Point 10 okay and I prefer to work in a separate environment so this is my separate environment and in that environment I'm using this Python version after that I'm upgrading the pip then we are installing few packages which are required for our today's class supervision then transformers PyTorch lightning and this Cython PyCoco tool and Cypad so all these packages you will install and once you install these packages your environment will be ready to execute today's code okay the data code 
so guys this transformer module so what we are doing over here is this transformer module is um, developed by hugging face okay and this transformer module have all the uh, transformer model in it so in our today's class we will pick the data pretrained model from this transformer module and we will fine tune it for our custom requirement okay so yeah so here i'm just showing you the versions which i have after installing all these packages so the torch version is 1.13.1 and it is compiled with cuda and i'm using cuda 11.7 okay and if you are working on a cpu then your pytorch should be compiled with cpu and if you are using gpu then you should have uh, cuda installed in your pc and then you can install the pytorch as per your cuda version okay then these are my supervision and transformer this is the transformer version and this is the supervision version and this is the pytorch lightning version okay so this is all about the modules which we need now i'm just showing you these are just four images just to give you an idea like what all classes we are having so here you can see in the first image this is the fracture so these are the images i took after training the model um, on a, on my custom data set okay for uh, this bone fracture data set so this one class is fracture other class is angle third class is messed up ankle angle sorry and the fourth class is line so these are the four classes which we are going to uh, we will train our model to detect these four classes okay so now the first thing is to whenever you want to work with any algorithm the first thing is to load the data set um, so that your algorithm can use it so that's what we are doing here you can see this is the path of my data set so my data set is in this folder okay i've shown you here so you can see that this is my data set okay here inside it we have our data set so so this is the path of the data set and here we are providing the name of the uh, annotation file so remember in our train val and test folder all those three folders have this annotation file with the same name annotations.json okay and these three variables have the path of training data set validation data set and test data set now we are using this coco detection class to load our custom data set okay so what we are doing is using this class we will we will uh, load our data set okay so here you can see using this coco detection class we are creating three different object so here we are this is a training object validation object and test object and we are for this training object in this uh, training object we are loading the training data set here we are uh, loading the validation data set and here we are loading the test data set after that we are just printing uh, how many records are there in each uh, you know object in training object training data set we have 326 images to train our model 88 images for validation and 44 images we have to test our model okay now we have loaded the data set let's just see if that data set is loaded properly so what we have done we are loading uh, we uh, this we are just selecting the random images image from our training data set and then we are loading that image and the, its corresponding annotation and then using this code we are showing so this is our image and this is our label and the bounding box okay so that means our data set is loaded properly now here this function why we are using this function so guys uh, when we work on uh, this deep learning algorithms there is one thing that whenever we want to give input images to our algorithm all those images should be of same you know height and width the size should be same so here you can see that we are using a pad dot pad that means if if we have images and the size of the images vary so we can pad the images so that we can have a uh, a, a proper size okay similar size for all the images so that's why we are using this function right 
and then we are using a data loader data loader of pytorch and we are we are loading our training data set here okay and then we are padding it batch size is 4 in the same way for validation and test data set what we have done we loaded the validation data set and test data set and then we are padding those images okay so we have loaded the data set now guys now we want to train our model okay and uh, in my uh, in the beginning of our today's class i've told you that we are using our transformer module which is developed by hugging face right so what we are uh, doing is we will use the data model which is already present in the transformers module and we'll fine tune it okay so that's what we are doing here so we have create uh, we have this class data class so inside this class here we are loading the pre-trained model here you can see right so we are loading the pre-trained model and then we have this forward function this forward function is just a forward pass okay and then we have this common step what this common step is doing here you can see it will provide you the loss in the loss dictionary and we are using this common step function here in train step also and in validation step also you can see inside this train step we are using this common step uh, function and in the same way in this validation step also we are using this common step function and what is the task of this for common uh, step function this will give you a loss in the loss dictionary okay and then guys we have another function with the name of configure optimizer so here we are using this optimizer and these are the parameters okay uh, you can see the learning rate and the weight decay we are providing all those parameters over here and these two functions are just to load the training data and validation data okay so we are calling uh, we are using the train data loader and validation data loader in these two functions okay now we have this data class and we now we will use this to train our model okay so we are we are uh, you know uh, initializing this class here and learning rate means learning rate for learning rate which we will use in our uh, model and learning rate underscore backbone means see uh, in data model in this detection transformer we use cnn for um, extracting the features okay the first step is to extract the feature so for that uh, so cnn is our backbone so for that we are using this learning rate and for other parameters for other uh, things we are using this learning rate and weight decay we are using in optimizer okay so you need to provide these three parameters while uh, initializing this model and then this over here what we are doing is uh, this next it uh, what will it will do it will provide the first batch first and then the image is the data which is there in the first batch of the training uh, data set okay and uh, one by one all those batches will go to this model and model will train okay and what now let's see what these two things are here this pixel values and pixel mask pixel value simply means the input image and this pixel mask means remember i've told you that sometimes the images are of uh, not of same size so we pad those images so after padding the images which we have those are called this this pixel mask okay so now in outputs variable we have our model okay now let's train the model so I want to train the model for 200 epochs and for training the model we are calling this trainer from PyTorch Lightning. So we are using the trainer, device 1 means I am using 1 GPU and then I want to train the model for 200 epochs. Okay, so trainer dot fit, which model we want to fit? The model here, this model. Okay, so now training starts and after 200 epochs, now we have done the training now what we want is we want to save this trained model so for that i've written these two lines so after executing this cell you will have a folder with the name of custom model let's see so see 
after training you will get this folder when you open this folder you will have these two files okay so this is your trained model now we will use this trained model which is trained on our custom data set and we will perform we will make predictions okay so let's do that so here we are loading the pre-trained model once you load the pre-trained model okay just scroll down and see see the output features are four so output class have four uh, neurons because we have four classes okay now let's test it on our uh, data set so guys what i'm doing here is here we are loading the test data set we are selecting the random image from the test data set and then the random image which we picked from here we are loading the annotations of that image okay and we are reading that image here after that these three lines will show you the image with the ground truth boxes okay so what i'm doing is let me show you the output first you can see this side we have a ground truth box means while once when you prepare your data set we annotate the images right so this is how our actual annotation is when we trained our data set okay so this is how we labeled it and this is on this side you can see the fracture and we have this value confidence score over here 99 percent so our model is 99 percent sure that this is a fracture and our actual uh, our actual box is also here so that means our model is performing quite well so these three lines are responsible for showing you the ground truth box now the thing is how to do this part okay how to test the um test on an image okay so here from here these many lines are responsible for picking the random images and then we are seeing here so here you can see we are providing the image and then we are predicting and then this is a post process post process means after you perform model perform the you know detection after that we need to perform some steps to see the output on the screen so these are those post process steps and then using this we can see this output image here and these few lines are just to plot these uh, two images with the output like this and you can see that our model is working fine okay so guys this is how you can build your custom uh, detection transformer model and yes that's it i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching